Hey there, Boilermakers. I'm Danica Kirkpatrick from the Purdue Ag Alumni Association. I really wish you were here to celebrate homecoming with us here on campus, but we're gonna do the next best thing. I'm gonna take you around campus on our brand new Can-Am Defender. Come on, let's go. So we're gonna start out going south on Marsteller, which might seem a little strange to you because normally this road has been a one way going north for as long as I can remember. Coming up now on the Hort Garden, which has seen some major renovations over the years. There's a new pavilion, and look, a lot of students are using it as a great place to study and take a break. We're now at the intersection of Harrison Street and Marsteller. We're going to head east, so now you can see the new veterinary medicine complex. Construction on this has been going on for since 2019. Construction is set to be completed in 2022. We're getting ready to take a roundabout, which is one of the new additions to the West Lafayette campus. There are roundabouts everywhere. is still there. Chauncey Hill shopping area is also set to be demolished in the near future. Most of these businesses are relocating to other places on campus. And now we have a Target on campus right here at the corner of Northwestern and State Street. One thing that's never going away is Harry's Chocolate Shop. Who's in the fishbowl today? University Bookstore is still a great place to get your Purdue apparel, especially your vintage Purdue Pete Ag t-shirts. In May of 2019, there was a rush right before graduation to finish the, the new arch in front of the Purdue Memorial Union. It's a gorgeous addition to campus and a favorite photo spot. Cruising down State Street now. We're coming up on Memorial Mall now, where students still love to enjoy a beautiful sunny day. Lily Hall still busy as ever. A couple of years ago, Farmhouse Fraternity underwent a major renovation. Look at their gorgeous red brick home now. There's several new places for students to live on campus. First Street Towers is one that everybody wants to get into. We're entering the Discovery Park Convergence District. This is a place where students, faculty, and entrepreneurs can actually live, work, and play together. You never know what you're going to see here on campus. At the corner of Airport Road and State Street is a new housing subdivision going in. We're now entering the Purdue Village, which may look very different or exactly the same for some of you. Check it out, it's one of the Starship robots delivering somebody's lunch. We're now on the south end of the Discovery Park complex, entering yet another roundabout. Now we're back onto some familiar stomping grounds for you Ag grads. We're coming up on Creighton Hall of Animal Sciences, which is the new Animal Sciences building. It's also home to the Landa Lake Center for Experiential Learning, which also houses the Purdue Butcher Block. Be sure to pick up your Ag Alumni Swiss cheese. We're heading 
north on South University Street. Lyles Porter is a relatively new building for the College of Health and Human Sciences, but our pride and joy is the new ABE building, which houses the number one ABE program in the country. This building is expected to be open for classes in January of 2021. We're heading back east on State Street and we're gonna go north onto the Memorial Mall. really wish you were here on campus celebrating with us and we hope you enjoyed the tour and it brought you back to your days here at Purdue. Until we can see you again, happy homecoming, boiler up and hail Purdue.